You're a witness to healing. You're a witness to all of the redemption story because it's happened in you. And if it hasn't happened in you, you witness to nothing. When I was a young man and I was uh, 23, uh, I ended up being attacked by someone with two carving knives. Didn't just have one, he had two. Now I will take on anyone with one carving knife and I'll flatten them. But two is a different matter. That's the fact. Uh, you know, I was in the police and I know how to take someone with a knife. And, and, but he had two. And strangely enough, if, you know, when someone's got two carving knives, you're going to get stuck one way or the other. Uh, and so I, I hopped out the window and it ended up I fractured my spine two places. And they told me I'd never walk again. Now, I ended up in hospital. Uh, and the fact was, you know, I, I thought it was better to run away and live another day than to stand there and get stabbed. And so I hopped out the window. I drove to the police station and told them they caught the guy. But the thing was that I'd fractured my spine. And when I got to the police station, I, I told them what had happened and, and then collapsed. I found I couldn't walk. So they took me to the hospital, x-rayed me and got a double fracture of the spine. So I'd never walk again. Now someone prayed for me over the telephone because he wasn't there. I was in hospital and I prayed for me over the telephone and God healed me. And it took me two days to get them to cut the blinking plaster off. I was plastered. Uh, and I was in hospital. The guy prayed for me and God healed me. And, and I got them to cut it off finally and they re-x-rayed me and there was no fracture. They got the one lot with the fractures and the next lot without the fractures. Now, we've got a God who's a miracle working God. I, I remember one time I was working, um, we were building a, 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 a house and, you know, I'm actually quite practical when I want to be. But uh, after I got married, I couldn't knock a nail in. <laughs> but, but when I needed to be um, practical, I earned enough money to get someone else to do it. But when, when my wife, <laughs> but, um, oh dear, you've got to have fun. But when I was there, I, I was out working and some, I was holding a big chisel and we were trying to break through a wall and a man missed with a, with a mallet, you know, one of these big mallets, a sledgehammer. He missed the thing and hit my hand, smashed it. I caught hold of it and I said, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> and prayed and God completely healed it. Didn't even have a bruise from a smash to nothing. Uh, our God is a good God uh, and things happen. You know, life is life. Now, I'm not a mechanic. One time I was driving somewhere and my car broke down. And it was the middle of the night and it was miles out in the country. And I didn't know what to do. So I got out, lifted the hood. Or oh, bonnet, is it? Which one is it here? Bonnet. Uh, I never know which side of the Atlantic I'm on. Bonnet, I lifted it up and I said, Lord, I don't know what's wrong, but I have to get home. And I put my hand on the engine. Um, not the engine, the filter cover. And I said, Lord, cause it to be healed. Got back in the car, turned the starter, drove home. Now, you figure it out. I don't know. How did God do it? I don't know. I've seen miracles happen, miracle after miracle. Uh, our gospel's a miracle gospel. And all sorts of odd things have happened in my life. Uh, the miracle power of God exhibited it in a miracle way. 
when I was, um, I, I, it's in my new book, which you haven't got yet because I haven't published it. But when I was a very young child, uh, I suppose I was six, and my brother and I used to go down to the beach, and in those days, a child could go to the beach on their own without getting molested. That was, you know, in those days. Wouldn't risk it with kids today, unfortunately. But in my day, you could leave your back door open. Uh, you know, no one would come in and steal anything. Because we hadn't got anything worth stealing. But no, 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 we had. But um, I, w I've, I went down with my brother, and we were playing on a breakwater, and a wave came and washed me off, and I couldn't swim. And I, I suddenly realized I felt with my foot the breakwater, you know, just sliding away. I, I was swept off. And, and I was drowning. And I, I, I wasn't a church girl. I didn't know anything except what my gra grandmother taught me a prayer when I was four. And she went to church. My parents didn't. Um, my father was against religion as was my mother. But the thing was, I felt the, the breakwater go, and as I was going unconscious, I remember saying, oh God, here I come. I knew I was God's. I didn't know how I knew, I just knew. I remember saying it, and the bubbles came, my eyes were open, the bubbles went up, and I knew I couldn't swim, and I knew I couldn't get back. The wave had taken me out. And an amazing thing happened. <coughs> There was a woman on the promenade sitting eating her lunch. And as she was eating her lunch, she looked up and she saw a little hand just break through the surface of the waves. And she dived off and dived out, pulled me out unconscious. And I'm here today because God alerted a woman to see a little hand. And she pulled me to safety. And, and you know, <laughs> I often think, you know, all through my life, God put his hand on my life. And our gospel is a good gospel. You know, God loves us. And, and even when I was an enemy of God, his son was redeeming me. And he was there to save me and to meet me. And the gospel is good news. We need to go out and tell people how wonderful our God is. What we need to stop doing is stop telling people what a mean, horrible, vengeful, angry God we have. He's not like that at all. He's a loving Heavenly Father. I'm his child, he loves me. And I always was. From the beginning of the world, the foundation of the world, I was in him. And, and he thinks I'm wonderful. And he's right. <laughs> and you know, he thinks you're wonderful, because he doesn't buy rubbish with the blood of his son. And you need to get a different perspective on God. I find so many people abuse God by mis, uh, misinforming about his personality and his nature. My God is a good God. Something good's going to happen to you. Why? Because it's his nature to bless. The devil comes to steal. The devil comes to kill. The devil comes to destroy. My Jesus has come that you might have life and have